Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval triaien wensis, a pasta recipe from the Liber de Cucuina and Maestro Martino's Libro de Arte Cucuinaria. We start with ingredients. We need the flour, cheese, chicken, onions, eggs and spices, white pepper, nutmeg and saffron. We boil the chicken in salted water for at least two hours. Meanwhile, we slice the onions, grind the spices, grate the cheese and boil the eggs. Tria, also called tri, triti or tagliarini, is a type of medieval pasta. The Liber de Cucuina, written in the 14th century, doesn't give instructions on the shape and method for making this pasta. It only mentions it in this recipe. We find another mention in Anonimo Toscano's Libro della Cucina, written in the same period. But in other sources, we find more information about the characteristics of this pasta. In Ugo Benzi's book on dietetics, written in the 15th century, we read that the treaty are thin threads of unleavened dough. The clarification about the absence of yeast is very important, because many types of medieval pasta are leavened. In fact, the use of yeast makes it easier to digest and healthier according to the physicians. To correct the potential harm of unleavened treaty, Benzi writes that they must be cooked with fatty meat, almond oil and pepper, then dressed with oregano, mint and lesser calamint, and eaten with wine. We need the flour with two pinches of salt and warm water until we obtain a smooth and hard dough. We let it rest for about half an hour. Then we roll the dough until we obtain a sheet of pasta that is not too thin and cut it into strings. Maestro Martino only writes to make the sheet rather thick and cut it fine and thin. You can cut it more or less thin according to your taste. Maestro Martino's treaty are evidently unleavened and prepared with only flour and water. The author writes to use farina bellissima, beautiful flour, referring to the flour most used for bread and pasta in courtly cuisine, which is white flour from summer wheat. Although Lodovico Bertaldi, a century after Maestro Martino, in his commentary to Benzi's work, writes that treaty can be leavened or made with a durum wheat flour. If cooked in broth, they give good nourishment, according to the principles of traditional dietetics. Maestro Martino's treaty are cooked in broth and dressed with cheese, butter and sweet spices which include saffron, nutmeg, ginger, cloves and cinnamon. Whereas in the Liber de Cucuina, the tria can be served with just steel fried onions and spices, or with cheese sliced or grated, capon or other meat or eggs. The author adds to flavor and color the dish as we like. So we use the saffron, but you can also use herb juice or leave the pasta white. To learn more about the history of pasta, check out our new book, Early Italian Recipes, Cereals, Bread, Pasta and Pies, which includes 114 recipes from the antiquity to the end of the Renaissance, an introduction to the history of cereals in Italy, and an explanation of the basic preparations and ingredients used in the recipes. This book is the second in the series Early Italian Recipes, the first being dedicated to vegetables, fruit, herbs and flowers in historical cooking. We saute the onions with olive oil, then we add the chicken broth and the spices. We cook the pasta for about 5 minutes, but the cooking time depends on the thickness of the pasta and how hard the dough is. 
We serve the pasta with the broth, a piece of chicken, half an egg and grated cheese. To know more about medieval cooking, check out our books, Libro della Cucina, Medieval Tuscan Recipes, and Registro in Cucine, a medieval cookbook. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer and purchase our merchandise. All the links are in the description below, along with a list of our books on historical cooking and the link to our Patreon page, where you can find the translations of primary sources and articles on historical food. This dish was incredible, full of flavor with spices, cheese and meat. Thin and long pasta cooked in broth, such as tagliolini in brodo, is still a traditional dish in Italy, although the recipe is different. This satria can be prepared in many ways, changing the type of meat, the spices, the cheese, which can also be fresh, and deciding whether to use eggs, boiled, poached or beaten and added to the broth at the end of cooking. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe to our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.